what I'm filming. If you're gonna be here, sit over there and be quiet. Really? Yes. Hey y'all, and welcome back to Cat's Corner, the corner of the internet where I had Cat's Madness. So, as some of you may have noticed, I did not post a video yet last week. I filmed one, I mostly edited one, and then my editor crashed and lost the whole video, and I got really freaking frustrated, and it disappeared. Never went up. Oh well. But it will be up, that, that video in particular will be up, like, next week or the week after, I think. Because I needed to film one in advance for when I go out of town. So that will be my advanced one. Okay, so what I'm going to show you today is just a quick little um, eyeliner tutorial pretty much because um, I almost didn't post this week either because there were a bunch of family stuff going on and I didn't have time to film one last week or earlier this week. So I'm just filming this day of. It's like... 8.30 on a Friday, which is the same day this is going up, so I guess it'll work. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do a colored winged liner without actually having colored eyeliner. And in the process, unplanned, I'm going to end up shouting out two of my favorite local companies because I'm using the Crate Finds Wing Stamp. What? I'm using the Crate Finds Wing Liner Stamp because it's the easiest way to do a really good wing liner. And Crate Finds, you've heard me talk about this in the past. It's a really good, affordable company and it's local to me, so it's really close to my heart. And then, to color it, I'm going to be using the Dolly Pop Cosmet a Dolly Pop Cosmetics pigment. And Dolly Pop Cosmetics, also local to me, Dollypop does these really nice handmade loose pigments and um, they're an Etsy shop so I will link both of these companies in the description down below but let's get on with the video. <laughs> so I'm going to be showing you how to do a colored wing liner so okay so I'm going to start with doing my uh well starting a wing like normal. So I'm going to take the liner stamp I'm going to keep my eyes open and press it to the corner of my eye, wherever I want the wing to be. Maybe a bit too low angled. But quickly, before it dries, I'm going to take the Dolly Pop Cosmetic um, pigment in the shade Hot. I'm going to put it on this little on this little angled brush. I'm just going to pat it right on top of that liner. And then I'm going to jump back to my liner. I'm going to draw the line over my eyes. And then I want to pat that liner or that pigment right on top of the line I just made. So I'm using the shade Hot in Dolly Pop Cosmetics because it was the brightest one I owned, so it would show up much better. But you can use whatever shade you want. You can use a pigment, you can use a glitter, you can use even just normal pressed eyeshadow. Um, and I wanted to do it, um, I wanted to um, put the pigment on before it dried so that would stick better, but... But it should stick just fine, even if it has dried, and it could, and the liner can be more of a guideline rather than a glue.
Ah, dang it. I made a mess. So, that is it. It's just a really quick and easy look. I'll give you a close-up. So because of the color I used, to me they look a little bit more like devil's horns, but I'm okay with that. Um, so this is just a quick and easy little thing. If you want to spice up your look just a little bit, you can do a normal wing liner and add a little pop of color. It will darken whatever color you're using a little bit if you use like a black liner. So it just depends on what you're using. But yeah, that is it. And I hope... This video was helpful to you, and again, I will leave both those companies linked below, and I will see y'all next time. Bye!